Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, part two, uh, card number eight to number 14 of my 30 cards in 30 days challenge for June. And I'm keeping up. Yay! Uh, the video's a little bit late, but if you watch uh, on my Instagram channel, I am posting a card every day. Hi, I'm keeping up with them really. So I've done my seven cards in my next seven days. Aha, uh -huh. but actually I've got eight cards on the desk because these cards, I got one free um, with one of my purchases recently from one of my unboxings and I already had one of the cards as well. So I decided to do both at once and yeah, I just thought, oh, well, I might as well do them. And what I tend to do if I have two cards the same, is use the drills from one pack and use them on the second card as well so sometimes you don't even need to open up any of the drills on the second pack which is brilliant okay so let's have a look at these cards what i'll do we'll have a quick look through the cards and then i'll put away the special drills from each of the paintings and the resin drills I will just put away as normal because they are just the normal DMC codes. It's just the special drills that are the fun bit. So, yeah. Otherwise, the videos just get really, really long. Okay, so card number eight was Iron Man. And that's from the Marvel series that they do. Um, this is all fully licensed artwork. So we've already done Spider-Man in this set. So we've got the others to do. Uh, and I have got Captain Marvel uh, in this seven as well that I've done. Uh, and I do know it's now Captain Marvel. Everybody keeps telling me and I finally remembered. <laughs> I know all the others, but I just didn't know Captain Marvel. That's one I've not seen. And that's a lady. Whoa, go hair. That's brilliant. Okay, so we need that for his gems to kit him down. And yeah, it's a mixture of the crystals and the resin, so really good. He's got his lovely sparkly hands, which is where the little crystals went. Okay, and then the big crystals in the middle, but great for a birthday card, that one. For any age, really, male or female, I think uh, Robert Downey Jr. made him quite uh, popular. <laughs> Our next one is our beautiful, look at those little koala bears and aren't they pretty with the lovely flowers. This little pop of pink just makes everything else stand out. I think it'd look a bit flat if it didn't have the pop of pink on it. It would be too sort of grey and green. But yeah, it's really clever how they do it. And as I've said in the past, the shading, they don't just go sort of one or two colours on an animal. On this case, they've gone three. In fact, there's even four colours on this. So you get that real gradient, that real depth. Just makes it pop out that little bit more. Okay. Then we're from the Beatrix Potter set. We did Jemima Puddle Duck with her little sparkly lady bird here. And a lovely little coat. And then all of these little flowers and uh, leaves here. I think the geraniums in the pot down here. They are all crystal gems. So again, it works really well. So I've said in the past, sometimes uh, crystal gems and resin gems don't always work together. But in this case, they do. Um, I do like the way that Craft Buddy just blend them together. Just to make them look really pretty. And then I've, I've done this one about four or five times now. And every time I do it and send it to somebody, I then have to redo it because I want it back in my collection. <laughs> anyway, I keep doing all these greetings cards and thinking, yeah, I'll send that to so-and-so and I'll send that to somebody else. And then I just keep them all for myself. <laughs> but yeah, he's beautiful. Absolutely love that one. That is one of my favourite cards that they do. Okay, as I said, we do have then a Captain Marvel, which has a lot of sparkly gems on her. And she has lots of little sparkly stars going around the edge on her as well. And I've just realised I've missed three little sparkly stars on her, so I'll have to finish her off. Not quite sure how I've managed to do that, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, okay. But again, mixture of uh, your crystal and your resin gems there. And then the two flowers, these are the, what they call DL, which is deep and long cards, um, just folded in half there. And what I'm going to do with these actually is cut around this. I'm not keen on the purple and green spot edge. Just It just doesn't do anything for me. So I'm actually going to fussy cut around all this um, and possibly put acetate, or I might even make it into a bigger card um, and join these together somehow so that they're actually... Yeah, you could cut that bit there, you see, and then put that bit 
to there and then put that bit over the top at the back um, yeah there's all sorts of things you can do with these you don't just have to use them as they are but if you like them as they are and you do like the purple and green then you can use that yourself um, and just send it as a card I'm sure anybody that received it would absolutely love it because it's very very pretty again the colours and um, the different colours in it the depth in it are wonderful and the sparkle on these is just amazing I think you can just catch the sparkle on that in the light yeah and then number 14, our last one for this week. And the last one was Peter Rabbit with the little, it's more or less like a laurel wreath, isn't it, to go around your head that we've got going around. And we've got the pink and the white leaves and flowers. And then just that little bit of pop of AB coated uh, marquees, their silver marquees, just to give it that little bit of sparkle. And your lovely little butterfly. But Peter's having a snuggle with mummy. Oh. Isn't that cute? It'd make a lovely Mother's Day card, that one. Really cute, really pretty. Okay, so let's get these, some of these put away, see what special drills we've got. Now, these didn't have any special drills on them. They are just resin drills left over. So I'll just pop those away back in the little envelope. I like to keep them uh, in these little cellophane bags. As you're uh, putting other things next to them, it stops any drills getting knocked. I don't seal my cards unless um, it's going to say a child that I think is going to sit and maybe pick the beads off, which children do, well some adults do as well, but children can do, um, or it's going to get handled along the crystals may move, but yeah, so I'm just going to keep that one on one side. Uh, Tiger, again, didn't have any uh, of these special drills in it, no, there's no ABs or anything there. So they're just all resin, so they will just go into my normal resin storage. Okay. Jemima has got special drills. And Koala has got special drills as well. We know that Iron Man and Captain Marvel have. And we know that Bunny has. So let's do these two first because they are on this uh, chart for the DMC codes. And the other three, we have got the uh, card outers, which have got the DMC codes on the back. Okay. So, yeah, these three. So, if you buy a set from Craft Buddy or from one of the shopping channels that sell Craft Buddy products, you'll find that you'll get an inventory sheet like this um, and only a couple of toolkits because you get the pack of cards and envelopes all in like one little box. If you buy the individual cards on these card hangers, then you find that you get a toolkit in each one um, and the DMC codes are on the back. OK, so we'll put those over there for a moment. Right, let's have a look at these. So let's see what specials we've got. Again, put them in the cellophane bags to keep them nice and clean and i will need to get a quick pair of tweezers and put those on there i think we just have the let's have a look yeah if you look on the key codes it does tell you the code number these are all dmc codes and then anything with a zero at the beginning or a letter at the beginning are special drills so we've got a 044 and a yo96 okay so we we'll just take those two out of the packet for now although i think we possibly only did get three of the large gems yeah we did we only got three of those large gems so there isn't any of those to put away okay those back in there. I want to keep these in with the cards that they do, albeit if you look on the bags of the drills, there is a code number on the back of there that does match up to the code number on the back of the card. So if you do find that you've muddled your drills up, if you've kept your little bags, then yeah, you can just look at the back and say, oh yeah, they belong to that one. Right, so let's put those back in there. Okay, so that's Captain Marvel. Sorry, that's... And I've just said it's Iron Man. Oh dear. And then Captain Marvel. She has, we've got 
that's up to DMC code there. And then we've got 001, 0015 and an X007. So we've just got three in this one. Put these out. Okay, that's one, two, three. And put those back in. Oh, I've not put her envelope in with her, have I? That's not good. And let me just look that stuck to the bag because it's not got the cover on it. I just grab these little stars and put these on. Might be able to do this without my tweezers because they're quite chunky. Okay, so that's one. Do you suddenly look at a canvas you think you've completed and then think, oh no, I've missed a bit. <laughs> and that's two. And they're lovely and sparkly, these stars. I am pleased we've got some left over. And a three. There she is, all completed. Okay. There you are. Right, so that's that one. And that's those two. So let's get my specials box out and we will have a look and get some of these put away. Right, so this is my special drill storage and I have sorted it out. I've just got some extra little thicker pieces of card to put in between each colour but at the moment it has got and um, it's all sorted out with marquees teardrops and miscellaneous for each colour that I've got there and then this side is the craft buddy side that I keep all my uh, craft buddy gems in in craft buddy number order as per what number they've got there okay so let's get started putting these away i've got my labels in case i come across any new ones that i need i've got my spare bags at the front there and i've got a pen to write on them so this one is we've not got the yo96 we didn't have any of those left but we've got number 44 which is a pale blue so we need to look for number 44 in here that's 40 45 or 42 so we've no 44 so we need an O a 44 just write this label out oh oops 44 it's a bit blobby because it's so warm and we want a little bag put that number on the bag okay I will be sorting these out into DMC number um, eventually once I've got my DMC crystal numbers sorted out. As I'm doing lots of crystal canvases and they are coming with DMC numbers on, I am getting like a little collection. But at the moment, uh, I'm just doing things a bit at a time so that I can fit in my diamond painting as well. Because I was finding that I'm doing so much of everything else, I'm not getting my diamond painting done. So yeah, I've just... Um, doing little bits at a time now rather than a lot all at once so we have g which is 001 which is a crystal they're just the plain crystal is always number one and there's quite a few in there so we'll pop those in with these still some room in this bag so i'm keeping the craft buddy gems separate from all the others at the moment and they've just decided to go everywhere and foolishly I've not put a tray underneath me. Why did I not use trailers? Why did I not use a tray? Let me grab a tray. I'll use this tray for a change. Hasn't had an outing for a long time. Let me just get these off the edge of the desk into there. Let me take that little bit of plastic out because it's hanging on to the gems. Okay, and tip those into there like that. And then they will go into the bag easier. There you are. Okay, so that's number one. And then the next one is number 15, which is the amber colour. So do we have a number 15? Let's have a look. 17, 16, 15. We do have a 15. So these could go in this bag with all its fellow amber coloured gems. Okay, I'm going to take that little bit. What I do is, as I'm... Uh, opening the packets i keep the little code on the packet and the uh, letter and uh, just pop them into a little grip seal bag and then it just lets me know which ones they are for kitting down um, i find that easier yeah, i mean I suppose you could write on the bags but i find that just cutting the bag down a little bit and putting it in the grip seal it works best for me okay pop those into there so that's number 15 and then the final oops, Get rid of that one. The final ones is the little stars, and that is X 
007. Ooh, no, I won't do the music. So let's have a look and see if we've got any X's. We have got X's and they are 007. So yeah, we've had stars before. So they can go in with their fellow stars. 007, ooh. <laughs> Now then, this is actually a Crystal Art branded bag look. I don't know if you can see that. If I just move it that way slightly. Yeah, you can just see. So I'm going to keep that one because it's got Crystal Art on it. You know what I'm like? I keep anything that's a little bit special or different. <laughs> Until I have to tidy up and then I think it's got to go. It's got to go. So that's the um, specials done there. So now we need to look at our koala bears, which are just so cute. Don't you just love those little faces? So what have we got here? Yep, so we've got down to 5200. So we've got an M15 and an M37. And M in this case for Craft Buddy stands for marquees, which are the marquees for the little flowers. So we've just got two lots in this one. Okay, so that's one lot there. And one lot there. Okay, and so I will just kick down the resin gems at a later time. Right, so we want M16, uh, sorry, M15 and M37. So let's look in the M's. Okay, these are all the marquees that I have. And oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, let's get these out and have a look. The thing I like about putting them in these little plastic bags is you can pull, pull them all out at once and then just have a look at the ends. And oh, look, these are all blues and blacks and things. I have no pinks at all. Right. So what we now need to do, because I'm trying to um, match up any of these drills with the special shapes drills that Craft Buddy have so that I've got a number on them is looking the pink marquees that I have at this side. So is that pink? Let me have a look. Yep, yeah, we've got the pink card there. That's large rounds and that's marquees. So I now need to look in these marquees. Oh, look and see if any of these match up with these. And I do believe they do. So it's not that one, but I think those are those, which is wonderful. Okay. And those are those. Right. So that's really good. So we've got rid of two without any numbers on at all, but we'll now have a number on to go into this side. Yay. So we need to write on these now because we now have a number for them. So they are an M. D and an M37. Okay. Make sure I put the right ones in the right ones as well. <laughs> I can just imagine me doing this. So is that is N the N37? Let me just double check this packet. It's that one, that's O. O is the 37, which is the smaller one. So that's that. Oh no, that's that one. So yeah, I am right. So 15 is the smaller one and 37 is the slightly larger one. So if I keep doing these and the amount of cards and craft buddy canvases that I do, I will eventually have all of my uh, crystals, special drill crystals numbered. So that one wants to go at number three, number 15. And then this one is number 37. It may seem a little bit complicated um, and I do do it sometimes and look at it myself and think you're just making this more complicated than it needs to be. But in my brain, I just need to have it organised <laughs> at the moment. This is how it's organising. <laughs> OK, so put those in there. And then this is number 37, 27. 37. I have had a lot of craft buddy gems in the past and I didn't number them. So a lot of these will actually be um, the craft buddy gems that uh, didn't get numbered. They just got slung in a bag. And then I decided because I want to be able to see them and see what I've got, that I would make up this system to do with them. Okay. So that's koala bear done. 
Next one is Little Mrs. Jemima Puddle Duck, which is this card. And we've got up to 3865 on this one. And then we've got number four, number five, and number 26 in just plain crystals. And then, oh, and 111. So it is just four plain crystals on this one, no specials. Okay. Get those out. See what colours we've got. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. Pop those back. See, I'm trying to keep myself organised. <laughs> it does work sometimes. So M is 111. Um, L is 26. K is 5. And J is number 4. So let's look for number 4. I believe we do have a number 4 because it's the red. Yes, we've had a lot with red. We did a lot of Christmas cards that had this red in. So we've got a very full bag. <laughs> okay, get rid of that one. Put those in there. So that's number one, two, three, four. We then want number five, which is the pink. Oh, we've not got many of those. So yeah, just double check it's the right colour and it is. Can't have had many left, whatever project I was doing with those pinks. Okay, I do do a lot of wreaths and things as well, so um, I do tend to find that quite a few of the colours are very similar. Okay, number right now we want uh, number 26, so up a little bit more, 25, 26. Again, I've got a lot of greens because a lot of Christmas cards had holly and things in them and Christmas trees used all the green colours. one and then 111 see if we've got 100 on it oh we have it just jumped out at me there look 111 okay right <laughs> just thinking about have you heard that joke or that um it, it's doing the rounds at the moment where uh, a dj gets past a piece of paper to say, uh, could he say hello to, I can't remember the guy's name, Mr. Jones, who was 111. Wow, imagine being 111. He goes on and on and on about the guy being 111. And then uh, he gets a phone call and uh, another message passed. And he says, oh, I do apologise. Uh, Mr. Jones isn't 111, he's ill. <laughs> Sorry, it's just every time I see 111 now, I think of Mr. Jones being ill, not 111. <laughs> it must have been somebody like me with really bad writing that wrote the message. <laughs> oh dear. So if he wasn't ill before, he is now because he's just suddenly gone up from whatever age he was to 111. <laughs> Okay, so the last one is M and it's number 56 and it's an M uh, as well. So we've got an M letter and an M key code, M56, which is the marquee, which is from the little wreath around the edge there. Okay, so I've just got the one to do on this one. Take that one out, lovely. Okay. And we've got 56, so have we got any marquees that are number 56? And oh, that's an MY, so MMM 57 43. Oh, we haven't, so we now need to go back to our silver marquees, and that's white, so we don't want that one. That is silver. Okay, and to marquees there and see if we have this size. And oh, I think that one could be that one. Yes, I do believe it's that one. No, it's not any of the others. Let me just double check. Oh, that one looks the same as that one. They are exactly the same. So, right, I can merge two bags now. So that's two bags from this side I've got rid of. 
Excellent. Oh dear. Dogs across the road are having a bark, so the girl's in here and I'm going to start barking. Lily, you're all right. You're all right. It's only Charlie from across the road. He's just having a bit of a woof. You're okay. Right, okay. As soon as I open the craft room door now, uh, Lottie and Millie are going to go shooting out, shooting downstairs and both stand and look out of the window so that they can woof back at Charlie. <laughs> How dare he bark! <laughs> okay, so we want the number on this one as well, so it's an M56. Right, so that was quite a good little haul. As I say, a lot of these will actually have been... Oh dear, are you telling me? Am I not going fast enough for you, Millie Moo? Uh, will have been craft buddy ones anyway but because I didn't use to number them they've not got the numbers on but they are doing now yay and I'll just put that little bag back at the front there okay well that's uh, the next seven all done as uh, I say if you want to enter the little giveaway draw to win either the completed parrot one or the white tiger or the flower or the Christmas puppies or the mandala then if you put a comment on this video I'll enter you into the little prize giveaway you will get a choice as to whether you wanted the completed parrot or whether you want one of the other cards and yeah so after day 13 we'll be doing a little giveaway just a little mini giveaway as a thank you um, and just for watching my 30 cards in 30 days okay well thank you ever so much for stopping by i hope you've enjoyed seeing this if you have a thumbs up is always much appreciated any comments or questions please leave them in the comments down below don't forget your 15 percent discount from craft buddy if you want to subscribe and become a member of the channel costs nothing it just means you get notifications uh, whenever the videos come up so you won't miss anything so there's a little a subscribe button just down here just press on that and a little bell will pop up all notifications and it just comes into your little um like notifications box on youtube when you pop on okay well that's me done for now so thank you ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon uh, goodbye from me millie and lottie bye for now Come on, what are you telling me are you having a rough day <laughs> we've got two of you double trouble double trouble <laughs>